Reflections have the power to transform everyday scenes into mesmerizing works of art. And more often than not, you'll find them in most of the places you visit during the day, making them quite easy to photograph. Hi everyone, and welcome to week 28 of the 52 Week Smartphone Photography Project. The theme this week is all about reflection photography using just your smartphone. You see, smartphones are great tools for capturing reflections. Their small size allows you to get creative with angles and perspectives, and modern smartphone cameras are capable of capturing high quality details and vibrant colors. So with a bit of practice, you can use reflections to tell some pretty cool stories. And with that being said, let's get started. Finding the perfect reflection is essential in creating a stunning photo. That's not to say that it needs to be perfectly visible, just perfect for the story you're trying to tell. You want to start with location scouting. Look for reflective surfaces like puddles, windows, or even shiny cars. Anything that has a reflective surface will do. Light is another critical factor. The best time to shoot is during the golden hour. This is early morning or late afternoon when the light is soft and warm. This will create vivid reflections without the harsh shadows. Overcast days or partly cloudy days are all great too, as the diffuse lighting can add contrast to the darker areas. As I said in the intro, experiment with different angles and perspectives. Don't be afraid to get low or try unusual angles. Changing your viewpoint can reveal compelling compositions that weren't immediately obvious. If you're not getting the images that you're looking for, then it might be time to leverage some of the smartphone tools built into the camera. Sometimes it's okay to use the filters that come preloaded. Just swipe through the list and watch the changes happen in real time. If the reflection in your photo is not in focus, tap to set the focus where you want the reflection sharpest. If the photo is too bright or dark, adjust the exposure slider on screen. It's best to address these things in camera before trying to change it in post-processing. We've talked about portrait mode in other videos, and fortunately, it's great for reflection images. It blurs the background, making the reflection pop and adds depth, especially in close-up shots. Enabling the on-screen grid lines help with placement. You can use the rule of thirds to place a subject at one of the interesting intersections. However, reflections benefit from symmetry, so placing the subject right in the middle of the frame is also an effective technique. While editing is not necessary, there are some options available to help bring out your imagination in your smartphone reflection images. For that, we return to our old friend Snapseed, which has some features that are perfect for this opportunity. First on the list is the HDR Scape tool. You want to open your photo, select Tools, and then HDR Scape. You'll be greeted with three base modes to choose from. Nature enhances landscapes and reflections that have vibrant colors. People soften skin tones while preserving the details. And fine is ideal for intricate textures. If your composition isn't up to snuff, then you can use the crop and rotate tools to fix that. Go to tools and select crop. From there, crop out parts of the image that you don't want. Make sure to rotate to ensure everything is level. Some reflections look better with some detail adjustments for contrast. Here you can select tools and then details, and you'll want to adjust the structure and sharpening sliders accordingly. The last thing you can do is to remove any distractions with the healing tool. Choose tools, then healing. Zoom in and tap on any unwanted spots or objects. Snapseed will blend them away, leaving a cleaner edge. And that's a wrap for this week. Thank you for joining me as we reflect on our smartphone photography. This week, we learned that you can find reflections just about anywhere, and how symmetry is important for connecting your reflection images. And lastly, we saw how Snapseed can come in handy with its HDR scape tool for enhancing those reflections you took. Now it's your turn to go out and show us the reflections around you. We're excited for you to share your images in our community discussion. And of course, until next week, happy shooting.